Hello friends, you're welcome back. Hope you're all good. My name is Dr. Roof and today I have done the root canal treatment of the maxillary second molar tooth uh, which is a very difficult root canal to do. Uh, actually the case is like that the patient is having the restorations in the maxillary second premolar tooth, uh, the maxillary first molar tooth and the maxillary second molar tooth. So there are the three restorations uh, adjacent to each other and the patient is complaining pain on the same side. I told the patient which tooth is complaining. He said, I don't know doc. You just have a look, I am feeling the pain all around this upper jaw. So I did the proper examination uh, and I see there are the three restorations there and there is no tenderness in any of the tooth. So I decided to take some radiographs while I take the radiographs and I see the restorations and all the three restorations are the faulty restorations and they are very close to the pulp and I did the pulp fertility test and finally I got to know that it is the maxillary second molar tooth uh, which hurts the patient when complains the pain to the patient. So I decided to go for the root canal treatment of this tooth. Uh, first of all you have to look up this case that uh, there are three restorations. Uh, it is the, the glass enema restoration in the maxillary second molar tooth and there is the two amalgam restorations and both are the faulty restorations. In. So finally I start my root canal treatment of the maxillary second molar tooth. Uh, so let's have a look of that. This is the preoperative radiograph of the patient where you can see that uh, the three restorations are there. And if you can have a look uh, thoroughly that uh, this restoration here uh, on the second premolar, it's the faulty restoration. It's very close to the pulp and on the maxillary second molar tooth, uh, there is a glass anomal restoration and it's very close to the pulp too. So I start the root canal treatment of this maxillary second molar tooth. Uh, I prepare the canal, I shape the canals and after that I obturate the canals very well. What I see that is that uh, they are not only the three, it's four canals which is present in the uh, maxillary second molar tooth. Usually it's, it's three, but in this case it's four. Here is my working length radiograph. So you can see that the very well uh, tapered canals are there. Uh, so all the four canals are there. You can have a look. So after that I obturate them and I did my uh, restoration. So here is the final radiograph. This is the mesiobuccal canal. This is the distobuccal canal. This is the palatal canal. And this is the MB2 canal. This is actually the distal view radiograph where you can see all the four canals very well. And after that I did the composite restoration. This is the restoration. A learning tip for the young dentist is that if you are uh, doing the root canal in any tooth and if you know there are the two canals are present, just try to look on the third one. If the tooth is having the three canals, just try to focus, try to have a look on the fourth one. You know, don't get stuck on these two or three canals and try to get, if you, if you know two, try to have a look on the third one. If you know there are three, try to look on the fourth one. So by this you will definitely improve your work day by day. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you like the video, please do subscribe my YouTube channel. This is Dr. Roof and see you in the next one.